Hi, David Gerard here. I'm in Carrizozo, New Mexico, one of my favorite towns in this enchanting state. Ended up talking to a local artist and author, Kathy Eisen, and just wanted to share it with you. Well, I'm Kathy Eisen. I'm from Nogal, New Mexico, just right up the road. Uh, we opened several weeks ago and were shut down by the, the COVID, so I've uh, just opened up about a week and a half ago, uh, calling it Carrizo Spring Trading Post. Okay, and Kathy, this is the uh, artwork that you do, the woodwork? Yes, I've been doing the wrapper work since the 90s. I started off with old barn wood. I was doing clay, I was just wanting to do inlays and found that when I went into the wood with the router, it was just like a, a natural contrast between the wood and the, whatever pictures I was doing. So you don't use a, a hammer and chisel, you use a no, router? No, just a, a router. So I sketch out the design and then just freehand it. I don't use a jig or anything. Uh -huh. uh, it's all hand drawn and hand routered. And what thing? And I guess you do some uh, Native American style. Yeah, a little bit of different. I've got you know, the cocapelli and the feathers over here, the horses, a um, little bit of everything, buffalo, just whatever. A lot of times, like this piece, you know, you see the eye. It just the picture just comes out of it. Of course, the cocapellis, you know, very Southwest. The feathers are Native American. The yucca, the zia sign. Local deer and elk sheds that have just you know fallen off seasonally. I have a friend who goes out and collects them, and uh, I'm sharing them for him. And and you you sell them? Yes, I, I sell them, and you know I've gathered some myself, and you know I've got complete sets, you know, full set, and then you know some atypical, just different ones. For... And a lot of people like those for what do they do with them? You think? They're just for decorate yard art, house art, hanging jewelry. Um, people make furniture and stuff out of them, and. And that's what really gets people to come in. They see the horns, they get curious, and it kind of leads them into the gallery. So those dream catchers are, that's a... Uh, oh, they're popular. They're still popular. They've been popular for years. And aren't they neat? He does uh -huh. the devil's claw. He's from Nogal. He's my neighbor. Oh. A very spiritual, puts you know, phenomenal energy into those. Yeah, let's talk about well, your that's, book. Yeah, that's basically what I did, is uh -huh. that I've journaled all of my life. You know, I've kept a running journal with very few. If there's a blank space, I've really it's a blank space. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and just found that when I went to Oklahoma in, uh, did I go? in 03, I got a job with Oklahoma Rural Water and they gave me a laptop. Oh. So I had a computer with me all the time. I was Before that, I was just hand journaling. Uh -huh. Of course, I started writing reports for work Right. and thought, gee, I should do this so I, that I can copy and paste, I can make corrections, I, you know, I've got spell check, and started titling my journal entries with the intent to share them. I've always wanted to write a book and uh, over time wrote a full-length book and had you know, the challenges of trying to get published, right. building a platform started a blog, started you know, going through that whole effort, and I thought, you know, I was getting a lot of responses from my blog. I thought, put my favorites, put my blog posts, you know, my favorite essays together, so I put them together, and you know, and that was my question, you know, if I don't do it now, when am I gonna do it? Um, so I put it all together into a book, and I think that we're all given that gift as writers, as poets, as artists, there's some part of ourselves that's that we found and that's special and it's part of our we're supposed to share that we're supposed to exchange those stories and experiences and um, it'll lead into more yeah that's so, great that's a good philosophy yeah. to have it's been the, and i was doing open mic and i was starting to oh, do really? signings oh, <laughs> oh yeah poetry. you know yeah i've been doing open mic for years actually uh -huh. and it just connected with the albuquerque group so i was finding that network of people that would gather and share their stories and then now we can't go anywhere.